welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello my name is Mika thank you so much for stopping in so today let's have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about closure a lot of times when we're going through a breakup or whenever we feel like we need to detach ourselves from someone that we love or we care about we feel like we need closure but to be honest, is it that you really want closure? What is closure? We think that closure is like, oh, we can have that last talk to understand why this has to be the way that it is. But if it's the way that it is, why not let it be? If you are searching for a reason to get back in contact with that person, a reason to maybe even apologize to that person, you are opening the door back up to going through that cycle again with them, no matter who they are, family, friends, loved ones it does not matter what level they are if you know that okay i've tried my best we tried it we had a great run but we are at a point now that the relationship is over or that we are not good for each other's lives we are too toxic or we are unhealthy or we just don't want the same things out of life then don't try to reopen that door reintroduce them into your life and into your circle by saying hey let's have this last minute conversation about what happened you know what happened they know what happened give it time if you want to apologize later on that's completely fine if you want to send a message to say you know I, I do apologize and i take accountability for the things that i've done wrong to you and the things that i have created in our in our relationship and i apologize for that and let it go and move on with your life that's okay but if you're saying we have to go out to eat we need to go get coffee we need to sit down and talk we need to have a phone conversation all that's going to do is allow that person to get back into your spirit and you're going to start to feel like well maybe this wasn't a good idea and if you were wrong to that person the same for them they'll start thinking like oh maybe they didn't really mean this they didn't really mean that and it could have been something that you guys dealt with for years and you didn't change or they did not change and now that you guys are talking about it you're starting to get an understanding and now you feel like okay this maybe this was a bad idea maybe we should continue to be in each other's lives but it's it's really bad and that's what keeps relationships that should have been ended a long time ago or relationships that are not healthy or that's weighing you down that's what's keeping it around for so long and keeping you throughout this cycle it's inevitable if it's not going to sustain if it's not going to be able to be sustainable if it's not going to be able to be fixed and to be healthy then in the end you're still going to end up get, coming right back to that same place where you all are breaking it apart and you have to know that you have to be understanding and be in agreement with that because if not you are just trying to resist the inevitable and it's going to come back and the longer that you spend attached with someone attached to a friend attached to your siblings whoever it is the longer that you spend attached to them the stronger the bond grows even if it's unhealthy so remember that when you're trying to ask for closure or ask yourself is it really closure that i'm seeking and what does closure mean to me because if you be real with yourself closure just means especially when it comes to a romantic relationship ending Closure just means I just want to see if you still think about me. I just want to know if you still care about me. I just want to know if you feel a regret now that you no longer have me in your life. That's what closure means. It's not, oh, let me apologize or let me hear you out and let us move on with our lives because, you no, know, you're hoping for that apology. You're hoping for them to have some type of remorse so then you can have an excuse to go back. Be honest with yourself. Stop playing these games with yourself. Stop playing games with your life. And then you get in back into the relationship and you, oh, I don't know what happened. You know, we came for closure. We were talking and then we ended up in the bed together. Or we were talking and, you know, my best friend, we, we decided to, to plan a trip. Now we're going on a trip together. And and now I don't even know what happened. I, I, I mean, I, I thought we wasn't going to be friends no more. I thought we wasn't going to be together no more. But now, you know, we, we have plans. We've doing, we're doing things again as if nothing ever happened. And now I feel like the relationship you know, should have been over. And I feel like the issue wasn't truly addressed, but yet they're, we're, we're planning things together and they're doing things now for me that I feel comfortable with again. So maybe it's not meant for us to be apart. And then you go right back through that cycle again. And it's just a matter of time before something else come up or that same issue comes up and you're back at square one. So quit trying to prolong things in your life. If it's dead, it's dead. And I, I do believe that sometimes, you know, in life, after some time, so people can come back together. But right off the bat, 
you just immediately trying to jump back into this this relationship reworking itself out you can say all you want to that that's not the reason i'm trying to get closure yes it is it is the reason you're trying to get closure because you just don't want especially with a romantic relationship you do not want that person to move on you want to make sure that you're still at the forefront of their mind you still want to put yourself in their space so then they're thinking about you be honest about it and you're hoping that they'll say the right things They'll say they don't want to break up. They'll say they want to be with you. So then you guys can get back together. That's what closure is. Because if you think about this, think about it this way. If you were working a job that let you go, do you go back and say, hey, I need a meeting with the supervisor or with the manager because I need closure on why you're letting me go? Do you do that? No, you may get mad, you may be angry, but you move on. You be like, okay, on to the next. You don't want nothing to do with that job. You don't even want to look at the person that fired you anymore. You don't even want, you just, you move on. Especially because you feel like, I did all that and they didn't even respect me. Or the, the job, you know, maybe goes out of business and then you're like, you feel angry. And it's like, okay, let me, let me just move on. Let me just go ahead and find somewhere else. That's because you no longer want to. And you're like, I don't even want to give them a chance to ask for me to stay. I don't want to stay. Think about it. So you don't go back and ask for closure. But you do that, especially with people that you love or people that you care about because you're hoping that you guys don't have to close that chapter. But like I said, make sure that you you avoid the whole closure talk because there's no closure talk. All it is is just coddling your feelings and try to you trying to hold on to that security that maybe this can work out. It's not healthy and it's not going to, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. And you're going to stick around for longer than you have to. And you're going to hold up that space in your life for other friends or for another romantic partner because you're stuck with someone who you know is not healthy for you. But y'all let me know what you think in the comment box below. All I ask is that you're polite and courteous because we are here to uplift one another and to give each other different ways and perspectives to see things. So drop your comments. We'll keep the conversation going and we'll talk next time. Bye.